Hi, I'm K.A. And I haven't done any video recordings for about a year and a half now, and um, I've been wanting to, and so I thought I would start back up again today with a message that I wanted to share with everybody about um, the energy of what is circulating on a mass global, maybe, unconscious consciousness, um, unconscious consciousness level. <laughs> it's unconscious to most, but it's conscious to some. But um, I wanted to clear up for everybody, and this is, you know, how I write my horoscopes is I have this empath ability that um, has graduated to understanding like the collective unconscious energy. It, my whole life it was just, you know, um, with the people that I was around. So I could always just feel what people were um, when sad and, you know, and deceit and lies. I've always been really sensitive to that one. Um, so it used to be something that was just on a individual level and then the past several years it kind of went up to you know feeling everything that people are going through and that's why I write what I do and why people are like oh my gosh how did you know that was going on with me and you know it's because a lot of people are going through the same things and I like to share that with you to help you understand what's going on but what I really wanted to talk about is something that I've never felt this fear as strong as it is now. So I wanted to um, talk to everybody about it and let you know that this is going on and kind of show you some ways to um, let it not be your truth. But so there is a... I wonder if you can hear my dog chewing on her bone in the background. But anyway, there is a huge money scarcity fear going on right now that's kind of larger than I've ever felt um, on a group level. And it, it started around the time that uh, Hurricane Sandy hit in the U.S. here. And I spent that whole day crying. I was so like, oh my gosh, what is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? I couldn't even identify what it was. I thought... You know, maybe it had something to do with the election, because that's kind of a scary thing going on. But, you know, as I kind of moved through it, I felt what it was and was like, oh, okay, okay, I get it. And it seems to be getting even heavier. And um, I think a lot of people have had things happen recently that have kind of dropped in their laps, uh, monetary fears of how am I going to get through this, how am I going to make enough to cover this, I think a lot of people have had something just drop out of nowhere that really kind of shook them to the core and has them feeling really unsafe right now, and the thing about that is, you know, the more you delve into that feeling, the more it becomes your reality, so even if something hasn't happened to you, it still is such a huge thing right now that you're going to pick up on it. And, like, I was out today around people, and, like, I haven't even seen people like this in such a universal mass level, but n nobody was present. There wasn't, like, one person I passed who could even be like, hi, you know. They were all, like, in their head and processing and, going through their routines, but you could just tell there was heavy-duty thoughts in a lot of people's minds right now, and and um, it was really icky, it was really thick feeling, it was really heavy, really heavy, so I know a lot of you are going through this right now, and I guess I just want to kind of put the idea in your mind of how to get to that uh, neutral point, you know, um, the neutral point is kind of the point of trust, but one way I've always learned to do it was to look back on everything in your life and to see how it's all worked out. You know, even if it was the scariest, most painful, most devastating thing that you thought you could never rise above or never dig your way out of, you know, it, 
it always worked itself out. Something always came in to save the day. Something always um, just kind of evolved that made it like okay. And I dare any of you to come forward and tell me that something has not worked out. You know, that there wasn't some brightness that came out of the, some beauty that came out of the dark and murky. You know, like, if that hadn't have happened, this other thing could never have happened. And if that hadn't have happened, you wouldn't have met this other person, you know. And that led this to happen and that. So I just think there's always something to it. You know, people get sick and then they always open their hearts. You know, people die and we open our hearts. You know, we start loving people even more, you know. So I don't know. I just, I think no matter what it is, we learn something from it or rise above it or see the good in it or at least get to a point where it doesn't emotionally charge us up like it did and so basically with these fears right now they can have you like feeling like unable to move because you're like dude I don't know what I'm going to do I'm scared and everybody else is scared so what better reason to be even more scared and you know you just you just can't buy into that though you know because it's not true but there's a heavy energy out right now you know, if you're feeling it, yes, you're right. It's really heavy and it's dark and money and scarcity and security related. And, you know, also, you know, planetarily, there's a lot going on too. And I'll be writing more about that. Or maybe I'll be videoing about that. Um, I'll probably be writing. But so about the eclipse coming up. And that's heavy duty, you know. And we have Mercury retrograde coming up too. We have those often. Oh, and we have Neptune going direct on the 11th. I love that one because I'm a Pisces. All Pisces love that. Whether it goes retrograde or direct, we're happy. But um, so there's a lot shifting. And um, <laughs> um, it's going to get better. But anyway, just do everything you can not to buy in this, into this. And, you know, not not to see that there's any problem right now. Because no matter what it is that came into your life, you can deal with it. It's no big deal. There's something else you can... Um, there's some other door to figure out about it or something. You know, it's not all revealed right now, but um, you just got to stay in the trust vibe, you know. It's so important right now, even with this election in the U.S., no matter who wins, you know, he, Ilani wrote a really good thing about it, but, you know, we have to trust them. We have to trust that they're going to come through, you know. <laughs> it's just, uh, goodness. But, um, so, um, yeah, so that was my point. I just wanted to get to you that, yes, this is going on, but that you have the choice to buy into it and to possibly go into even further into this hole of misery <laughs> and fear or rise above it and know you're safe and know something is absolutely, you don't know if something's like a couple weeks away that shows up and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe. You don't know how close you are to some sort of resolution, so you might as well just trust whatever it is and um, and know that you're safe and know it's going to work out and know you'll figure out what to do because you always do, you know. So, yeah. And um, I'm going to get everybody else to start doing videos on my group too because they're kind of fun. And although Jen says she won't do them, but we'll talk her into it. I'm sure Dakota will love it. He, Elan, loves it. Yeah, but anyway, so yeah. So, I think they're kind of fun. So, now that I'm doing it, I'm like, yeah, I remember, they're fun. <laughs> so, but anyway, just a little message, and um, it's all good, though. <laughs> For real. It's so all good. And, uh, yeah, so, I'll see you soon, with more from Aquarius Nation. Okay? Bye. <laughs>